feels like forever. It feels like forever. And I'm coming down for you. And it feels like forever. Since I've made a podcast with you. Episode 18. Oh, Scrackinelli. Nelly Furtado. How's it going, everyone? It's the 18th episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. <laughs> what are you clapping for? It's just the 18th episode. I got a gorilla pod for my camera. You can't see it because my camera's on it right now. What's a gorilla pod, you may say? Look it up. It's black and white. And Casey Neistat uses one. <laughs> that's not what I that's not why I got one. But I got one. Maybe that is why I got one. That's a brush on the microphone. I do have a card with some stuff on it. <coughs> but I'm just stalling right now. I'm not jumping right into the card yet. I don't want to jump right in. Just as always, I have a little bit of water. Because we're running out of water. Someday we're not going to have enough drinking water. Ah, so get what you can. You know what's going to be currency in the future? Besides Bitcoin? Or when Bitcoin shits the bed? Um, ice cubes. <laughs> Where did I see that? I can't remember where I saw that. I don't. There was some TV show I'm thinking, or maybe it was a movie, or Ice Cubes. Somebody thought that Ice Cubes were going to be the, the the currency in the future. And if that's the case, then that means Ice Cubes going to be the president. For wait a second. Oh, never mind. I thought I found something that I was looking for, but it wasn't what I was what I was looking for. Still looking for that thing. I've been looking for something <laughs> since I was oh god, twelve years old. No, way younger than that. Probably like eight years old. I lost something when I was eight years old. Still haven't found it. <laughs> So I'm thinking somebody stole it. It was, uh, I had a Nintendo 64. I'm going to turn the gain up. Hello, French potatoes. Oh, that's a little better, I think. Is that too loud? Ah, oh, that's perfect right there. That's perfect. That's, that's perfect. Let's turn it up a little more. Hello. Test, 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 test. So now I don't want to get too close to the mic. That's good. It's good right there. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I had a Nintendo 64. And of course I had Super Mario 64, which was my favorite game. And I fucking lost it. Because I had to go somewhere for the weekend and there was this kid that was coming over to the house so i hid the game purposefully but when i came back <laughs> it wasn't there or actually when i came back i didn't even think about the game for a while and then i wanted to play it so i was like oh i'll just go to the hiding spot I think that's what... Alright, maybe I couldn't even... No, I couldn't even remember where the hiding spot was. So it's probably still in that house somewhere. That's how good... Of, that's how I hit it that good. I should go back there and say... Knock on the door. Say, let me in. There's something hidden in your house. Dress up as a cop. And just rip the whole place to shreds until I find it. If I don't find it, <laughs> then uh, I'll just go buy it on eBay. Maybe I'll just do that instead. 
Rather than going back to the house and ripping it to shreds, I'll just buy it on eBay right away. But then I'll have to buy an N64. Huh. I wouldn't even be able to play it on my TV. Unless I got a RCA to HDMI adapter. If that even exists. I'm sure it does. My Corona! Boop boop beep beep boop beep boop. Beep boop boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop. Woo! So if you look at the background, it's still this shitty ass epidemic and a bunch of other words and CDs. I like the CDs. I don't like the words. It's so cliche. It's super tacky. It's ugly. If you go to any uh, woman's house, well, not any woman, but, you know, the majority of women's houses, they'll have those words on their wall that say, like, love, peace, happiness, shit like that. I hate that. And that's exactly what this backdrop is. I gotta get a new one. And I'm going to. Can you hear that banging? There's always something. There's always fucking something. Every time I try to do a podcast, there's always some sort of outside racket. You remember Max and Ruby? I haven't even jumped into the card yet. Look at this. Look at this. That's fucked for life. Both wires are connected. Yet, they're still tangled. And I can't disconnect them. If I disconnect them, then we lose everything. Oh god, I'm hungry as fuck. Somebody get me some food. I gotta eat. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Don't mind me. I'm not doing a podcast or anything. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with this backdrop. Oof, I almost thought I didn't press record. That's happened to me before. But y'all don't know about it. Because I just... You know. Of course you wouldn't know. The only way you would know is if I, uh... Said it. Gizmo, get out of the closet! Gizmo! Gizmo! Oh, God. This isn't good. Gizmo! Gizmo! Fine, you can stay there. Oh, I'm so hungry. I walked all the way over there for nothing. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought she was going into the closet to cause trouble, but she's just going into the closet to take a nap. The shadows in here suck. It makes it look like my lips are extra big or wonky or something. Fuck you! I can hear everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're on card 18. Day 18. Podcast 18. I can hear the paper. So much, so crisp. It's like I have supersonic hearing. Mary Jane! Who knows Mary Jane? <clears throat> There's Gizmo. Gizmo, what are you doing in the closet? You just came out of the closet. That means you're lazy. Gizmo, are you jumping up? She did it. See that tail? That's a cat tail. Wanna see a cat face? Say meow into the camera. I mean into the mic. Do it. 
Gizmo. Gizmo. Say something. She usually doesn't shut the fuck up. I can't believe marijuana. Marijuana. <laughs> it's brought it's brought people together, let me tell you. Since it's been legalized, people can finally finally accept it in a good way. Notice how the piano's not in the shot anymore? It might be too loud. No, it's perfect. Leave it right where it's at. Hello? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this show is a fucking... It's a pile of shit. Smacked around in some mayonnaise. That's how good it is. That's about how good it is. But someday it'll be... It'll be the professional. It'll be the professional shit you're looking for. Ooh, you know what would be a good backdrop? Those, uh, that picture of the the dogs around the poker table playing poker. That would be awesome. That one bulldog with the, the extra card in his ball and his back leg, stuck in between his his toes. I only know this because I'm looking at it right now. My other computer has a. Uh, like every 30 minutes back, the wallpaper change changes. And the poker dogs is one of them. Stop looking at me. Cats just love to stare. They just love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's hard to talk about the shit on this card when you don't want to talk about it. Oh God! Ah! I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> if this was a real show on TV, I'd be fired. But it's not TV; it's the internet. So who cares if it's sloppy? I'll make you a sloppy Joe. Oh, I could really go for one right now. I want a sloppy Joe. Please get me one. I want a sloppy Joe. Please get me one. Oh, that that fits right into the to the to the to the next topic. You want something until you get it. Okay? I want this sloppy Joe. But when I get it, it yeah, it ain't gonna satisfy me. No way, no how. I didn't even start a timer, so I have no idea how far into it we are. Doesn't matter. What is time? Time is nothing. Someday this podcast is going to pick up. <laughs> It'll get better. We're only 18 in. We're only 18 in. This one's garbage. The last episode was garbage. But every episode previous was pretty good. The last two were just garbage. Eh, I don't know why. I gotta get back into the groove of things. But what I was saying, when you want something until you get it. Uh, well, you know, you could say that for anything. Money, candy. You buy, you want candy really bad, you go buy candy. You bring it home and you, you eat it all. And if you feel like uh, uh, you want to puke. All over the floor. I puked recently I puked two days ago for that exact reason <laughs> that's why I, that's why I brought it up because I bought a bunch of candy ate a bunch of candy diarrhea a bunch of candy and puked a bunch of candy <laughs> now that was a good night try it I recommend it gizmo shut the fuck up I don't know if you can hear it. I got a bird feeder as well. 
hung it up on uh, that tree behind my house. If you know it, you might have seen it. Gizmo! Gizmo? Where are you? Gizmo! She is... She is just fucking with me. Bird feeder. We've been having a lot of windy, rainy days. So bad that there's been a couple of tornadoes. But lots of wind, lots of rain. And came home from work today and the bird feeder was on the ground. It's still on the ground. Because <laughs> I, I just reminded myself about it right now. So I'll pick it up. Yeah, birds love it. Let me tell you, they love seeds. And they're getting more comfortable being around me. When I go out there, I can get closer and closer to them now. Someday I'll be able to touch them. and put them on my fingers and say, What's up, birdie? And then choke him! Break his neck, pick his feathers off, chop him up, grill him up, eat him, beak and all. And then use the feathers to make a craft. Uh, I also watched a, a brand new Netflix um, comedy special. Rory Scoville. He's pretty funny. Uh, his, his comedy special is called... Um, Rory Scoville does comedy for the first time. Or something like that. Which is, not, it's not his first time. So he's, he's doing some sort of uh, trickery. Gizmo. G cats are just so selfish. It's always about them. But anyway, he brought up Ultimate Frisbee. And I don't know, I just want to talk about it. <laughs> I never played it. Well, I did play it like a few times. But the place I used to live at, the same place where I lost that Super Mario 64, or whatever it was called, uh, outside that house there was a soccer field, and people would play Ultimate Frisbee there like every week. And I'd watch it, but it wasn't uh, ki kids my age, these were like, probably people 25 and up. Nobody over forty years old, but that was the that was the age range, and I had a I had a, f a friend, a chubby little friend, <laughs> uh, who used to always play with them. He'd take his his wiener out and he'd uh, he'd run around. <laughs> no, he didn't do that. You know who I'm talking about friend who played ultimate frisbee I'm not gonna say any names but uh he was named after a fabric that's all i'm saying <laughs> um Oh, I already talked about tornadoes and rain. That's the next topic. But I already talked about it. Because it blew my bird feeder away. Tornadoes swooped it up. Fucked off. No, that didn't happen. Still haven't seen a tornado. I've been near two. Not really near. They've been just outside the area that I live. In both cases. It's all happened within the, the, this month. And I could have witnessed one. But I just wasn't uh, at the right place at the right time. And I really wanted to. I've seen lots of videos online. And you've seen that video of that guy mowing the lawn. He's got the tornado behind him. I mean it's not like Canada gets tornadoes all the time. They're rare. So why would that guy mow his lawn? Maybe he's just, he's like, I, I know, I know my distance. 
Or maybe he just doesn't give a fuck. Or maybe he doesn't know what a tornado is. Who knows? Did you know that within six months, you're going to be a different person? Every six months, your ideas completely change. Is that crazy? Who knows? Who knows if it's true? But it's, uh, you know, I could, I see it. You're, you got a lot of ideas floating around now, and you're going to have a lot more in six months. Beep, beep, boop, bop, bop, boop, boop. Now, last episode, I said I was tired. <laughs> and the episode was going to be pretty shitty. This episode, I'm also tired. But I'm probably going to record one tomorrow. Where I'm, when I'm not tired. This episode, I'm tired. <laughs> That's not going to be like that all the time, so don't worry. If you're even watching, which I know you're not, because there's nobody watching. That's how cool this is. I love making videos for myself. It's so fun. It is so fucking fun. So fucking. So fucking. <laughs> That's what people do in Mad Gap. You ever play Mad Gap? So fucking. <laughs> people are, are sound so handicapped when they play it. The word is sofa king. So fucking. So fucking. So fucking. So fucking. Asia! Oh my god, I need a haircut. Check out my hair. Woo! Woo! That's a lot of hair, my man. Oh, man. Oh, man, take a look at my life. My life like you. Oh, baby. I need a haircut. Who does haircuts out there? F is for family haircuts and pick up, pick up, blow job. Was that F is for family or something else? Well, that was something else. Or was it? Nah, it was F is for family, I'm pretty sure. Haircut. Haircut. And a blow... Blow, blow, blow job. Oh boy, last the last topic on the card is is uh, when my generation grows up. Remember when I it was like a few episodes in, I said I was gonna talk about every uh, topic on the card, and I'm doing it. So what are you complaining about, bitch? That's right, I'm only making videos for myself. So I'm going to go insane. Basically, these podcasts are just me documenting my progression to insan insanity. I'm probably a third of the way there. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a phone call. From a random ass number. Hello? Great. As soon as you say something, they hang up. Because they just want to know when you answer the phone. So they can come back, call your stanky ass, and try to sell you shit. Or they got some other trickery up their sleeve. God damn it, I'm hungry. Gizmo. Oh, yeah. I gotta talk about the last topic. When my generation grows a set of balls. No, my generation's pretty cool. Because it's my generation. Gizmo, I'm gonna whoop your stanky ass. Shut up. 
Don't even think about jumping on me. Where was I? <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. When my generation grows up, and I'm like four in the 40 areas. That's when my generation is at their uh, top, at their peak, where the control is. Because when you're in your 20s, you got no control. You don't have no, you got no say. But when you're in your 40s, 30s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and up. Yet, well, to about 50s. And then you start losing your say. Because that's when the newer generation comes in and, is, and starts taking over. Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't even think. Do you know how hungry I am? How do you expect me to work in these conditions? I need to eat. I need to eat. <laughs> That's what union workers sound like. I can't miss my break. I need to eat. If you're a union worker, fuck you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't give a shit. I don't care. But union workers love to complain. Oh boy, do they love to complain. The whole basis of a union is complaining. I'm a union worker. I work so hard all day. Just kidding. I like to take three breaks. On top of my three breaks. And when I'm out there working, I complain all day so I can work the least. I have the right to refuse unsafe work. So everything I do is unsafe. So everything I do is unsafe. I'm a union worker. And I'm a union worker. I don't want to work myself too hard. I just want to make some money. But I only want to work the minimum amount of hours possible. And make sure you give me lots of vacation time. And make sure that I get. I'm. I'm. That's enough. I'm. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna sing anymore about about unions. <sighs> if you're in a union, raise your hand. If you love your union, raise your hand. Join the union. You get all the benefits. I said I would stop. Can you hear my tummy? Okay, you know what? This podcast has been going on for long enough. Welcome to the Dynamite Garbage Podcast. With your host, Asshole David. Hi everyone, I'm Asshole. Nice to meet you. Wouldn't want to beat ya, but back in 90s. Oh, Gizmo! You shouldn't be standing there. She's got whiplash. Yeah, that's what you get for standing there. What a shitty podcast. Alright, fucks. Suck my duck. <laughs>